Hendrick Motorsports has a complicated relationship with the Martinsville Speedway. There have been a lot of happy moments here. There's also been a few sad ones, which is what made this race win one to remember. This place means so much to so many people, and Mr. Hendrick and, and Linda, and um, it's just really special to, to you know, have the 40th anniversary and all that that means. It was a day that almost never happened. The 305 wins, the 14 drivers' championships, the 40 years is one of the top organizations in the sport. Not be here today celebrating 40 years if it wasn't for this guy winning this race in April 1984. It was a win at this track that saved this organization. If Rick Henrik had let us, he, he told us that week before we weren't coming here. He said, I was out of money. We hadn't won this race. Uh, just think about how many people that might have affected. 20 years later, this track was also the site of one of the worst days for Hendrick Motorsports. 1230 yesterday afternoon, the Hendrick Motorsports Beach 200 disappeared from the radar, trying to land at the tiny Blue Ridge Regional Airport. The crash killed 10 people, including Rick Hendrick's son, Ricky. Seeing Rick's strength through that, um, you know, I, I, it was one of the toughest times I've ever been through in my life. It's made the relationship with this track, as I said, complicated. But today was another notch in the good column. Win number 29 at the Virginia Short Track for HMS and the first 1-2-3 finish for Hendrick here. Successful day and, and picking up a win on a on a day that, that means so much to Rick and Linda and in this company. So uh, yeah, just really cool. We're really happy to contribute to the top three, you know, one, two, three finish. It's just nice to uh Nice to have things going in a good direction, at least for us. You know, nice to have a couple solid weeks. For Byron, it is his third win on the season, most of any driver so far on this young season. At the Martinsville Speedway, I'm Heather Williams for the State Line Sports Zone.